In today's video, I want to dispel some myths about this material, vermiculite, and its links to asbestos. Let's get into it. So quite a common question I get asked is vermiculite. Isn't that asbestos? Well, no, it's not. And I want to go over the finer details about why you shouldn't really be too worried about using vermiculite, especially horticulture grade vermiculite. So here we go. Here are the facts. Vermiculite is a naturally occurring mineral that expands when it's exposed to intense heat. It's incredibly lightweight and its composition makes it ideal for use in horticulture, fireproofing and insulation. From 1920 until around 1990, the vermiculite mine in Libby, Montana was responsible for the majority of the world's supply of vermiculite. However, after around six decades of mining under the trading name of azonolite, it was discovered that the vermiculite was contaminated with naturally occurring asbestos fibers. They were present in the same area during mining and posed a health risk when breathed in. As a result, any home that featured zonolite products in North America could put its occupants at risk if they were to expose those materials. So once the asbestos was discovered, the mine was closed in 1990. Periodic tests have been carried out in other vermiculite mines since with no signs of asbestos. So people who use vermiculite products such as attic insulation, landscaping supplies from zonolite in North America were advised of their options at the time. The same rule applies to products here in New Zealand. However, uh, New Zealand never imported this material. So all vermiculite in New Zealand is asbestos free. So should you be worried about using vermiculite for pizza ovens? Well, the short answer is no, because no company would be allowed to sell vermiculite that contains asbestos. The vermiculite may contain silica, but not asbestos. If you are using a product which has asbestos in it or is labeled as having asbestos, it's likely that that product is more than 20 or 30 years old and shouldn't be sold by any reputable company. Knowing that vermiculite does not contain asbestos can be a weight off many people's minds. However, this doesn't mean you shouldn't put health and safety first around any dust or dirt that you'll be using in your garden or building materials. So as a general rule, I always follow when working with any garden or building product that lets, lets off any kind of dust, I always wear a face mask or some sort of face protection. This is also important for eyes, so you may want to consider eye protection as well. So hopefully that clears up a few of the commonly asked questions that I get. So first and foremost, it's highly unlikely that if you're buying like horticulture grade vermiculite that it contains asbestos. If it does, it's probably way out of date. It's been 20 or 30 years since any vermiculite has been sold with asbestos. No companies should be selling it. So do your research read the labels on the packaging and ask lots of questions. That is key. So can you use vermiculite for pizza oven building? You probably still can, you know, it's a good material. It's cheap and it's accessible to a lot of people. So give it a go. I actually tend to use more perlite now just because it's a bit stronger. I found vermiculite was a bit crumbly, but you do your own experiments, your own research and uh, tell me how it gets on in the comment section below. If this video has been good, if it's been useful, informative, smash that thumbs up button and check out some of the other content on the channel.